the Chase Thomas Podcast for people who have nothing but time to kill. Yeah, I'm kind of watching that DJ Miller visit this weekend because that's a that's a really interesting one to me. Where if, if he wanted in, I, I think I think Tennessee ideally wants to see what happens with Travis Smith before it adds anybody else. But that's that that's a that's a good player that I think Tennessee would be hard pressed to turn away if that opportunity presented itself. Um, your favorite commit in this class right now for Tennessee is who? Oh man, um, I would probably go with. I feel like I'm gonna forget somebody here if I. I just rattle off someone off the top of my head. I, I'd probably go with Radarius Jackson. Uh, I, huh. I think a lot of people, based on his current rate rating, don't fully appreciate the upside and potential there that, that Radarius Jackson has. And if you haven't watched his film, it, it's a lot of fun to watch. He mm-hmm. he just nothing but pl- big plays all the time. You know, he can go up and get it in the end zone. He can uh, he can he can make it make a catch and, and run for 70 yards. He's just he's one of those guys that with the ball in his hands or, or just throwing it his way. He's, he's going to make something happen a lot of times at high school games. And the most impressive thing to me might be he's just a football player who he's still figuring it out. I mean, he's still kind of learning receiver. He's still he's still he, he's he did some speed training this spring, working on, uh, you know, doing doing some track, trying to work on his speed. He's he's learning how to how to, how to get off the line and track. You know, he just he just hasn't done a lot of this fine, fine, detailed training that a lot of receivers that at his point in the development have, have done. He, he's he's got I think so, some real upside there that he could be no matter who they add to to this class for that last spot I think he could end up being the best receiver in this class because he's that he's that talented already and just has some additional potential that people maybe don't realize so I think that's one that even though that was an in-state battle people weren't even sure who finished second at the time I think that was one that was a massive win for Tennessee I think they believe they're getting one of the best receivers in the country and I, I think they're they treated him that way and and I can I can see what they're what they're impressed by. They, they would see him play basketball back in January. And the, the consensus was that coming out of that visit, Tennessee had the, the mindset of we have to get this kid. He's that good. So I think he's potentially the star of this class. That Nicely done, nephew. Talking about. The Chase Thomas podcast. Hell yeah.